Welcome to another 12 devotionals for Christmas. This morning we're going to be looking at a special star. In Matthew chapter 2 verse 9 and following. When they had heard the king, they departed. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, and frankincense, and myrrh. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. When we think about the stars in the heavens, we think about the verses in the Psalm chapter 19. Psalm 19 verse 1, the heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Psalm 97 6 says, the heavens declare his righteousness and all the people see his glory. As we think about the star that gave the wise men direction, I want us to consider a a couple things about it. First, the fact that the star gave direction. Although less common now, back in their day, it was common for people to follow the stars, to find where they were going in the seas or the travel. They would look to the sky to find direction. And these wise men heard that, or knew because they saw a star in the sky, a special star, that a king was born. And this star gave them direction and it led them to a place I'm looking for a king. They went first to Herod, and they expected him, of course, to be in Jerusalem, but he was not there. And when they left Herod's place, the Bible says that the star was there guiding them. Matthew 2, 9 again, when they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star, which they saw in the east, went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. It was a special star because it went before them and gave them direction to the place where the Lord Jesus Christ was. Which brings me to my next point, the star gave a destination. It not only gave them direction, it gave a destination. Just like today, our GPS will tell us when we have arrived. They had this special privilege of having a star telling them when they had arrived to where the king was. And when they arrived, the Bible says, that there was great joy. When they saw the star, they were rejoiced with exceeding great joy. It led them to the hosts of Mary and Joseph, and in that host was the Lord Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world. The destination that it brought them to was a place, and that place was a special place because of who was there, and that was the Lord Jesus Christ. As we think about the star and how it gave direction, and it gave a destination, we may wonder to ourselves, why don't we have something like that? Why don't we have something that gives us a direction and destination? And we do. It is the Word of God. It gives us direction for those who are lost. It directs them to their need of the Lord Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sins. That is what Christmas is about. For those who know the Lord Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior, the Word of God gives us direction how we are to live our lives, how we are to follow Him and be an example to the world around us. It gives us direction and it gives us a destination. For the lost, that gives them the destination they need to place their trust in Jesus. And for the saved, it gives us the destination of what we need to do daily as Christians in order to live for Him. As we think about the star, let us be reminded that God has given us these things in the Word of God.